I am Sir Tap Tap, and welcome back to Dweller's Empty Path. When we last left off, we just visited a little dragon shrine, and we got kind of roped into delivering mail, even though it's an off day. It's also with a very peculiar presence just walked by. That seems interesting. I wonder where we went off to. Who do we know with a peculiar presence? I remember when the visit rest of the village was scared, scared of you. I was too. Not Esther, though. Esther was never afraid of you, even though he, get, he even gave you a job after you came back from the castle. Esther's a really nice guy. She's not so organized, or time efficient. Well, it's Berglund Park. Some freshly baked picked fruit is sold here. These apples look really tasty. Although she's like crying at how tasty the apple looks. So she's selling some finely made pottery. Some grains. Delicious grains. What to buy. <laughs> I'm sorry if I'm talking to everyone, but this is this is how you play RPGs. Why is your face like a, in a portrait frame? Gotta stock up on these incredible armor upgrades. Handcrafted equipment. It's not gonna be any real equipment, are they? Okay, the villager people get the village people uh, get uh, portraits, I guess. Some of them only, though. There's a good variety of supplies to choose from such a small village. Why are you like a Yuki Ona? Hmm. Which will be used with us on our journey? Just got like swords. Hi. Fresh fruit. I'll come back another time. Mouse. I don't want to pick up some stuff from the market, but I don't remember what I was supposed to get. Is this another path? No, it's not. Alright, so I guess we're looking for mailboxes to deliver stuff to? Ah. Oomst. Hello, delivery girl! Hello, I have some letters to deliver. Thanks so much, I've been waiting on these. No problem. One down, two to go. Phew! I'm beat. Thanks for helping me out of the forest earlier. I think sometime tomorrow, I want to try to find the lakefront I grew up by. Are you from around here? Yeah, I am, in fact. I grew up in the castle towns a bit ways away from here, though. So. It's been so long since I've been back there. It seems like I've forgotten all the routes. Well, if you find me tomorrow, I can take you there if you'd like. Oh, I'd really appreciate that. What kind of person you are. Garbage is empty. You know, I might be slightly responsible for the, you know, reason you can't get around anywhere. You know, between this and the off uh, fan game stuff, I kind of want to poke around with RPG Maker again. Mess around with stuff. I'm not sure what tool this is made in exactly. I don't know if this is an RPG Maker thing, or if it's just something similar. Um, I used to remember what it was made in. Whatever, it doesn't matter much. I was sent there when you took down that beast type that stormed to the village. It was appreciated, but... A lot of us didn't know if you were a beast type, to be honest. I was also scared of you until recently, but after you started working at the post office, coming back often, I you're pretty alright. Aw, oh, thanks. It's a tale of acceptance. Oh, it's a little restaurant. I wonder if I can get in through the back. I love when games let you do that. Nope, not allowed. Oh well. I've been feeling I should make like short stories carriage service ahead. Oh, this is like the speedway. Bigos! Wink. Um, I think we'll do that later. We'll finish the deliveries. Um, I think like I should make like a short story or something, and I think maybe RPG Maker. I can't do graphics quite like this. One more to go. Are you the delivery girl? Thank you for delivering my earlier. It's very safe and sound. Alright, one more thing to deliver. Um, I feel like an RPG Maker game, just something simple and something short, could be an interesting way to kind of explore that idea. So the letters have been delivered. I should head back to the post office. So weird, my, my family forgot to send these out. Or even worse. But it got lost in transit. Alright, do we get paid now? Do we even have... Nani? He isn't here. Guess he went out for a bit. Something left on the desk here. It's money! And a note? I went out for... I went out for a bit. Here's something for your time. Thanks to the hard work. This double my normal pay here. Thanks, Esther. Well, we got some sweet cash. 
12. A little birdie told us to uh, check out the carriage service, so I guess that's what we're gonna do. It's like cat girl with knives, is how I interpret that sprite. I'm not sure if that's correct or not. I get some vibes of like, these people are like RPG adventurers, but we're not. We're just kind of loafing about. So these are the village is a normal type, I'm gathering. A well that's taken care of. That is a derp horse right there. Large quantities of derp detected in this sector, Captain. Heading over to the castle? Want a lift? Sure. Hop in. See, I'm like a bunny cat. I got the cat tail but the bunny ears. Best of both worlds, I guess. Forest noises. Oh, crap. Music. Sorry about that. Well, I'll have to fix that. I'll, I'll put some music back in post, but... Musically, you just missed the town music. I'll, I'll edit the town music back in. It won't be a big deal. Ooh. I'm so tired. I hope someone comes over and takes over my shift soon. Let me guess. Hey, why don't you transform into a large beast type so I have something to cut down? S sorry. I don't think I can do that. What? Don't don't ask to murder me, please. Have we really been playing that long? I guess I've been kind of derping about. Plus I did leave it. I think I, I left it open between videos. That might be why it says I've been playing so long. There aren't many f people traveling through the forest these days, probably because of the spiking beast type appearances. So is this just back to the forest? Left graveyard, right path to castle town. This is the forest lakefront. So this is a big game. All right. Let's, let's just check out the castle. Well, first, we're already here, and I assume the graveyard is not that big, and so oh, it's gonna be spooky! I love spooky ambient stuff. It's no bake! Spooky. I love low... lo-fi horror stuff. I love just spooky... Spooky Game Boy in particular is a good groove. These are some very, like, freshly plant like... Concerning how like fresh all of these graves look. At least like b bury them a little deeper, man. Oh crap! Rotom is in here. Where's Rotom? Rotom? Treasure chest is sealed shut. I don't know what got trapped inside. Nothing to say about the spooky skeletons. There's something in here. A broken bottle. I see it was left in here. I'll just put it back. Well, <laughs> I, I thought I would find something, but whatever. A journal? Who does this belong to? Read its contents? It's a new morning. Everything was quiet and peaceful, except the occasional beast types prowling about. Nothing out of the ordinary for this place. Unless I wanted to stay for the rest of my life. I thought to myself, and then, it was as I was gathering something for breakfast, I saw someone crying. Someone this deep in the forest? Are they lost? Let's take a closer look. A lone girl. Crying all by herself. With bunny ears and a twin forked cat tail. She looked to be maybe just a little bit younger than me. What's she doing here all by herself? Is she separated from her parents? Did she have any parents? Should I help her? Instincts were telling me, don't get involved. And don't let anyone get involved with you. But what if she was like me? What if she was all alone? Squirrel. Could she for survive in this forest all by herself? In the end, I have to go see if there's anything I could do for her. I got goat legs. I asked her, what are you doing this? All at bay. What are you doing here all by yourself in the forest? Are you lost? My sister. I can't find her, the girl cried. She got separated from her sister somehow. Well, all I had to do was follow up and find her sister, right? So I could leave her alone. But she's lost and scared. At this rate, she'd be food to any nearby wandering beast type. Aww. It's dangerous here, I told her. 
As I helped her up, she seemed to calm down almost immediately. What's your name? I asked her. Yoki, she said. Okay, Yoki. Let's check out the nearby village. Maybe someone might, there might have seen where your sister went, I told her. And so, she went to check the nearby village. But, it seemed like nobody there had seen her sister. Nobody recognized this girl. Nobody really said anything at all, so I had to speak for her. Hours passed. Still not even a hint about her sister's whereabouts. The look at the village, she said maybe it was better to search in the forest. This girl and her sister, were they travelers? Where did this girl come from? I tried to ask her, but she wouldn't answer my questions. I was kind of wondering, why don't we just live in town? Is it because of which sister situation? Actually, after I started asking about her past... She collapsed! Did I push her too hard? <laughs> I love... I love that even with the pixels, you can tell that she's just like flat, like a board, like pfft. That's adorable. It was getting late, like a piece of paper, and we were far from the village. So, I decided to help her back to the place I was staying at. Do you think it's weird for your knees to like bend backwards? I guess it's not weird if you're a goat, but... I do not like green pixels and ham. I do not like it with a boat, but I do not like it on a goat. It was a little run down, but it was better than having you sleep out here in the forest. Not to myself. It will only be one night. And tomorrow, I'll leave her with someone in the village. Someone like me. I don't know if I can really be of much help to her. I just I thought my life would be easy and peaceful from here on out. This is his journal. But, sister. How strange. Did I have a sister? Oh, so it's not Claire. I'd like to read more. Continue reading. Well, sure, I guess this episode's gonna be mostly backstory, but too many pages are missing. Oh! Oh, that's what the... the okay. A lot of spiders and bugs in this garbage can. So we find the missing pages and we come back in here. I got it. I got it. Okay. Shut up, train. I don't know if you could hear that, but a train yelled at me. Like in real life, not in the game. Spookum spats. <laughs> no, seriously, why is there a normal walk speed when I could just just always walk like this? Like, it's not that fast. I, I, was, I thought it'd be like zipping around like crazy. Alright, what's in the castle? Oh, you're back in town, Yoki. Got another job for the prince? There's always a prince in these games. I'm not sure yet. I just want to just take a small walk is all. Some more beast types have been showing up. Taxes have been going through the roof. I don't know how much more I can handle this. It's always with the taxes. The finger thing means the taxes! Oh! Welcome! Welcome! What can I help you with today? Let us know if you need anything. Feel free to try any of the dresses you see. Oh, dresses! Yes, good. Such a perfect fit! I have no words. <laughs> this is adorable. Stunning! I love that thinking emoji look. Dazzling! <laughs> the sophistication! The grace! These chicks are the best. Best best girls discovered. Please, try on some of our works. Fitting room. I guess it wouldn't hurt to try on some clothes. So fashionable. You're the star of the show. I like, I like this face in particular. This one. That's, that's me. That's me at all times. I like the Able Sisters. Please, try on some of our works. Huh. I guess I don't have enough money to, to buy clothes. <laughs> you can hear the whimsy. It's like a little pan flute, but pixelated. Auditorially pixelated. You have antennae and a tail. Are you a beast type? No, I'm not. Oh, antennae. They're not ears, they're antennae. You heard it here first, kids. 
Town doctor. Doctor! I have antennae. I'm told this is unusual. Please fix me. Hi, uh, Claire wanted to pick up an order from you. Ah. I see. One moment. I don't like that the music cut out. Thank you for waiting. Here's her order. Thank you. Trust if you know Claire. You'll know to keep this a secret, yes? You mean that you sell these items? Yeah. No worries. The situation was a little... That's concerning. Okay. But we have something for Claire now. Yes, me. The reason so many beast types have been showing up is because of the pr and the prince hired. Oh, beast type racism. Honestly, what was he thinking of having the beast type work for him? Even after his parents were killed by one. Doesn't sound too smart. There's a little secret walkway up here. Kitties! Meow. Kitties. Rawr. We have entered the cat zone. Excellent. Oh. Uh, I'd like to return to the cat zone, please. What the hell is this? This is not the cat zone. This is the Zubat zone. Very different. Very different. This game is so big. I was... Wow. There's a lot of places to go and stuff. Um, I feel like I shouldn't be here yet. There's a little ghosty. I feel like I shouldn't be here yet. Oh crap. Hmm. It's a freaking Rhyhorn! Sorry. No secrets to find here. Thank you for coming all this way just to see me. Sure thing. <laughs> well, at least he told us there was no secrets, so we know. By the way, I like the thing where the, um, the little, you know, telegraph noises when people talk. There's all little, there's different pitches and stuff to kind of give people a voice, quote unquote. Alright, so. What the hell? Scary. Bleh. What was all that about? Okay. Well, that was ominous. Um, we'll try one more ladder. Jeez, is there more to this place? Huh. What was that? Um, jeez. There's a lot of stuff going on in the castle, so... I'm just gonna try one more ladder here, and we'll, uh, we'll tie this one up. No entry. North Path Up Mountain Forest. Oh! Oh, it's a shortcut into the castle, I guess. That's good to know. Maybe, uh, we'll probably need this at some point, then. Alright, well, I'll get back to the castle town, and, uh, we'll keep exploring there. So... Thanks for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe. Let me know what you thought of the episode in the comments, and I read all my comments, so uh, please do. Give me something good to read, you know? And uh, check out our Discord, sirtapdub.com slash Discord. What's that? Oh, it's just water. <laughs>